Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one of the most important chess games in history and why it's so important? Because it's called Immortal and not many games can be called Immortal uh, in the history of chess. Everybody would like to have the, you know, their game to call Immortal, but you have to do something really, really unique. So first Immortal game was played by Andersen and he sacrificed two rooks and the queen and checkmate his opponent. So that was really something incredible and it was uh, the game from 19th century but now we have 1934 Budapest uh, and the game is called Peruvian Immortal Game and why Peruvian? because it was played by Esteban Canal Peruvian master uh, who was living in Italy and he was 38 years old at that time and he's ranking 2672 that means he was number eight in the world at that time. Very, very strong player. He lived in Europe, so he played in many tournaments. Uh, and this was not the tournament game. It was played during the uh, simultan exhibition. So Esteban Canal played against uh, many opponents uh, in Budapest. And uh, we don't know who was his opponent uh, because, you know, organizer in Budapest didn't uh, record that. Uh, but at least we have the game recorded. So that's very nice. So uh, here we have Mr. No Name and he's gonna play as Black. So without further ado, let's see what incredible things happen on the board. Uh, we have e4 by Esteban Canal and d5, Scandinavian defense. e takes on d5, queen takes on d5, knight c3 and queen on a5. So a uh, main line of Scandinavian defense and here d4 grabbing the space in the center and black now can play knight on f6 or c6. So c6 was played now uh, controlling d5 but also making a space for the queen uh, if the queen is attacked somehow and, uh, and have to retreat. So uh, this is always good move in the Scandinavian defense. We have knight on f3 and now bishop g4 pinning the knight and here nowadays this move is not played uh, too often but in the past uh, why not bishop on f4 a very nice developing move you know putting the the bishop on the diagonal and black continue development with e6 so making them the open diagonal for the uh, for the bishop we have h3 forcing the the bishop to do something uh, we have bishop on f3 queen on f3 and now bishop b4 so uh, more pressure on this knight and uh, now the knight is attacked twice of course it's defended for now uh, and white should do something about that or not uh, Esteban play bishop on e2 so he don't care about the, the pawn structure uh, and here knight on f6 uh, followed by for example knight on d5 would be too slow because white can castle before but still knight on f6 or knight on e7 is the the best move here however we have knight on d7 by black so developing the queen side uh, and now a3 attacking the bishop and what to play now as black what would you play as black so uh, probably what black would have to play knight g on f6 uh, and then after castle uh, black would be forced to to exchange the the pieces here uh, and then have to play with two knights against two bishops so white definitely stands better here but remember that's the simultan exhibition and white have to be very careful to play against two knights so it's still some chances for black to you know make some surprising move however in this position what black played was castle uh, and now uh, feel free to pause the video and find the winning continuation for white which can be called the immortal game later okay so this has to be something really really special while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so if you watch my last two videos i really recommend if you haven't seen that so before you start this if you didn't find the answer check these videos first and then come back and win this game it's really worth it because uh, if you don't know the pattern then it's not really uh, easy the winning move here is a takes on b4 taking the piece for free 
uh, and attacking the queen and queen should do something if queen moves then white are up the piece uh, with the very strong attack against the king so what black played uh, black took the rook this is actually the best move in the position uh, and now don't play bishop on d1 no king on d2 this is what makes this game immortal sacrificing another rook okay and after queen on h1 you know this this pattern queen on c6 bang and that's just crushing that's crushing the queen has to be taken because uh it's a check and of course this is the the bishop slicing this diagonal so b takes on c6 and we have another example of borden's mate so uh, i show you three times the borden's mate so now you're gonna remember whatever gonna happen that's gonna be you know in your memory that's the borden mate and these two guys just blocking the king from escaping so this is what happened in the game but the question is uh, if black could play something better for example don't take another rook is it possible the answer is yes but it's still losing just uh white would have to you know play a little bit longer and we would not have the immortal game we couldn't enjoy this game so much so if black play for example something like knight on e5 it's much better defending move we wouldn't have the immortal game uh, it's attacking the queen the pawn is pinned so i uh, actually can't take the the knight so what white would have to play is take the knight with the bishop and now uh, queen can take on h1 and there is no borden's mate anymore because after after checking the king can actually escape okay the king can escape so uh what white would have to play is queen on f7 and mating on c7 that's um, that's the idea if rook on d7 then it's a very very simple checkmate just a couple of moves and then bishop can go to g4 and that would be a checkmate uh, and if uh, rook on d4 which is actually the strongest move sacrificing the rook uh, it's the strongest move in the position rook on d4 bishop d4 knight f6 now uh, you know developing the the pieces uh, queen e6 with check uh, now knight d7 knight e4 and this is just you know crushing attack by white knight can jump on e6 bishop can also go to g4 and that's just crushing and uh, can be defended so uh it's possible to you know uh prolong the game but it's still losing and we would not have the peruvian game so if you like these last three lessons of borden's mate press like if for some reason you didn't like them press unlike uh, and we're gonna have a magnus carlsen tournament steinitz uh, memorial online so uh, stay tuned if you don't want to miss the videos i'm gonna comment some of the best games played uh, press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one